Hello, I'm Atubo George, and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise <laughs> God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. The earth, listen, the Bible says, if the cloud be full of rains, they empty themselves on the earth. Our nation is going to experience the emptying of the cloud. It has begun already. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. It has begun already. So, I was talking to you. Ah, my heart, my heart is indicting a good matter. Can we just pray? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we honor you today. Lord, you are fulfilling your word in our lives. You are fulfilling your word in our nation, Nigeria. Our nation will see good days. Nigeria shall be a nation that the world will respect. Yes. Leaders all over the world will respect our nation and our people. And it's for the good reason. Because you have honored us. You have hidden us all these years. But the time and season of our manifestation has come. And we will rise and fulfill your heart, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Listen. <laughs> The Hushites don't force themselves. The Hushites are called for by the king. You see, because the Hushites are always ever in the presence of the king. But let me tell you what the Hushites do when they are there. They are quiet, yet they are speaking. They are watchmen that God have placed around the king. And let me tell you this. There is no kingdom on earth that doesn't have Hushites. And even men like Ahitophel. Now Ahitophel was a good man until he switched camps. But I'm using Hushite now. See, because a, a system that is to fight God's people. A decision being made that will be detrimental to God's people. God already have placed Hushites around the king. And these are men who are connected to the Lord. But it says sometimes they don't know what to do because they have not been taught. That's why I say, listen, the church, the church hasn't done much. In saving the nation. It's not to congregate and pray and tell, oh, command and declare and say that we, we hate the president or we hate this one or we hate this party. No, that's not our business. Our business is to strategically position ourselves. There are, there are people who, works, who, who work with the government. And when I mean work with the government, I'm not talking about the appointed people. I'm talking about the, 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 the regular people, the cleaners, the, 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 those people who see the governors, who see the president on a daily basis, yet they don't have a voice. See, they are not known that, though this is the official spokesperson. God, you see, most times those are not the people God uses. He uses them also. I'm going to show you that. But beyond those official people, there are those. Ah, let me talk to you about witchcraft today. So you know what to do. You know how to deal with issues like this. Because as we speak, you, you will understand what I'm saying. Now, in the seat of power, there are lots of witchcraft activities going on. I'm telling you the truth, whether you know it or you don't know it. You see, because that throne, whatever seat of power, be it the presidency, 
or the state governor or the even in the office in your little office but you see you you find it on a high level the higher you go lots of witchcraft activities now <clears throat> there are people who because of course they don't know god they have consulted whatever witch doctors and they have obtained the kind of power that they want to obtain and what is their desire that it is only their word that we stand in the king's heart i mean this the high now imagine when 10 people around the king insist that it is their word that the king will accept what do you think you're going to have confusion now, this is the source of many confusion that you find. This is the source of many indecision that you find around presidents or around the, 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 the palace. This is the reason. Sometimes you think, I thought this man was intelligent. I thought this man was bright. I thought this man was a strong man. How come he cannot take a simple decision like this? It's not that simple, my friend. It's not that simple. There are forces. You know, when you say this, you know, that's why when, when I see, I was, I was telling you this thing last week. I said, see, you know, when, when we begin to say, oh, the youth must take over. Ne let's make sure 2023, nobody uh, above or nobody have been in office. You don't know what you're talking about. And I told you last week, if you don't dismantle the structures that is holding up that presidency, you are setting up whoever you bring in there. You are setting him up for disaster. Because there, there, are, they, there are people who that is all they know. That is all they know. You bring in good people before you know what's happened. They've corrupted them. With all manner of things. They, tell, they, they blackmail you into it. If they can't blackmail you into it, they will cajole you into it. They, they will promise you all manner of things until you succumb to it. I'm not even talking about the king. The king, you don't understand this. The king depends on people to make decisions. For example, if, if the chief of army staff comes to the president and tells him, sir, from all our investigation, this is what we have found out. And even if he is telling a lie, what do you think the president would do? He will have to take a decision based on that. But let me tell you the truth. In the presidency, there are Hushites. But listen, they have been quiet for this long. Quiet because they are afraid. Even when the king calls for them, I told you the Hushites, the king calls for them. And the king will ask them, what do you think? And suddenly, imagine. Now, now, now get this right. Ahitophel was an official of the king. When I mean official of the king, he was a counselor. He was an appointee. He had an official position with the king. Hushai didn't. Hushai was just a friend of the king, hanging around the king. But he was a wise man also. So the king recognized that this man is wise. But Ahitophel was the official counselor. So imagine the king saying to Hushai, what do you think? And Hushai thinks for a moment that, ah, let me not be the one. Let me not speak. And now my, my opinions are different. But let, let me not speak now. And then they now say that I'm, I'm showing myself too much. And then he's just like, mm, yeah, I, think, I think you should pray about it. Oh, I think you should go with what Ahitophel have said. And you now tell yourself in your heart that I didn't want to speak against him because I know Ahitophel, when we leave here now, he will tell them not to allow me into the palace again. That you see, you don't know when your moment comes. You don't know. You're on your own. You have been praying. And then the king asks you out of the blues, what do you think? Brothers and sisters, that is your moment. It can be as small as in your office. 
you have recognized a principality is there, always turning the king or your boss's heart in the wrong direction. For whatever, for their personal gain or whatever it is. Now you're praying about it. Now that's how you recognize yourself as a Husha. You are there. You know what is going on, but you can't speak yet. Because you have not been given authority to speak. Pray. Don't resign. Don't leave. It doesn't, if you cannot handle it, why don't you just resign? No! You don't resign. Who shall don't resign? Who shall stay in the midst? You, you think who shall loved it when, when Ahitophel gave that counsel that uh, uh, Absalom should get his con David's concubine and sleep with them on the rooftop? You think who shall was pleased? You think he didn't want to say, ah, please, oh, don't do that, oh. But now that was a season to keep quiet. He kept quiet. Sometimes you keep quiet to what you think is right. It may be painful, but it is not given to you to speak at that time. Because you don't like, that's why I have to tell you. I said God was executing a judgment and mercy on David. In the first counsel that Ahitophel gave. So don't interfere with it. If Husha had interfered in that season, he may have lost his chance to, uh, to, to, to carry out his real, real ministry. Are you getting what I'm saying? So he kept quiet. He kept quiet. Closed his eyes to what was going on at that time. But the season came when the king said, what do you think? Now, already, I want you to see the gravity of what Husha did. Already, the Bible says, the, the, the counsel of Ahitophel pleased the king and the elders. So who are you, Hushai, that is going to bring an... See, see, these things were carefully written. Do you know what it is? So it's like the king has already taken a decision. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Um, uh, Mr. James, what do you think? Wow, king, you know what? I think what Ahitophel just said is just the best thing that, that can ever come out. You know Ahitophel now? He doesn't fall hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought as much. I thought as much. Um, Jeffos, Je Joseph, what do you think about what Ahitophel just said? King, is there anything to think again? Let's just go and execute the thing. And you're, and you're there hearing all these things and you look at everybody's just nodding their head. But you know you've got to stand in that moment and you are waiting to be called for. You are praying in your heart, Lord, this thing cannot go. This thing cannot go. Brothers and sisters, we have Hushites in the military. We have Hushites among the police. We have Hushites everywhere. We have them. And that's why the Lord is sending us to go activate them now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And they are there. They are praying. Lord, no. They, they, they step out of that meeting, they pace the, 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 the floor, they pace the corridor, and say, Lord, you've got to do something now. And then they pace it for like two minutes, and then they go back in to see if they are going to be called. Oh, they are still talking about it. And suddenly, they say, hey, Mr. James, what do you think about this thing? That is your hour. That is your season. That is not the time for you to begin to think, hey, but, but they've, they've, they've all agreed to it now. Be the only man standing. Brothers and sisters, sir, you're not the only man standing. The whole of heaven is with you right now. Everything you say right now. I'm ministering to someone right now. Everything you say is what is going to be law in that season because you have not pushed yourself. Man, mm. Hushai, what do you think? Ahitophel, he even said it. Ahitophel had given a wonderful counsel. I want to hear what you think. Do you have anything against it? Say it now. And Hushai spoke up, knowing this was the hour that David prayed for. This was the hour that David sent him to that palace. 
and he spoke what's in his, what was in his spirit. He spoke it intelligently. He just said, no, no, king, don't, don't take uh, Ithophel's counsel. It's not good. I don't think it's good. No, no, no. He spoke intelligent. Brothers and sisters, you must trust in intelligence that God has given to you. And, and how do I know? Hear me. Jesus said at that hour, the spirit of your father will speak to you. You, you, just, you were just called up. What do you think? And you know in your heart that this is wrong. Don't just say this is wrong. No, you speak with wisdom. And let the Holy Spirit guide your words. He says, King, I don't think this counsel is good for now. And this is my reason. Your, your father, he said, he said we should go and attack. When we attack, when we rush him, 12,000 men, when we rush him, we will weaken his camp. He said, King, I don't think he's right now. Remember, your father is a man of war. <laughs> it's not an easy place. And secondly, he doesn't stay with the camp. He stays away from the camp. So by the time you attack and there's a war, it is your people fear will come. Hmm. Hmm. And let me tell you the truth. It was not just Hushai that was speaking. The Spirit of God was in that place, confirming the words and causing the king to do what he says. Rise up. Rise up today. And when you begin to speak, the Spirit of God will rest upon everyone you're speaking to. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is happening in our nation. The Hushites are rising. And we are seeing the glory of God revealed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, join us tonight at 12 midnight. And we're meeting via Zoom. We're praying. This prayer meeting is done via Zoom. Praise God. I'll see you tonight or I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.